Hello internet friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, we're not going to be doing an unboxing today. So we are going to be, instead of an unboxing, we're going to be trying out a new palette that I picked up at Ulta a little while ago, but I haven't really had a chance to like get into it and play with it. And it's this. It's by Morphe and it is the Icy Fantasy Palette. And I've been kind of like feeling the pastel vibe lately. Like you can see I've got like um, a peachy tie-dyed um, pastel kind of shirt. It is getting to be um, closer to springtime. I wouldn't say spring yet. Uh, but we're getting there and I'm kind of feeling like that, you know, the Easter colors, the, you know, all that stuff. And I even, look at these cute little brushes with the little pastel tips. Aren't those adorable? I got this brush set um, six months ago from Amazon. I put it in a drawer and I forgot about it and I was cleaning today. It's been a very busy day um, of cleaning and organizing and I was cleaning and I found these and I thought, oh my God, these are perfect. So this, these are actually what inspired today's video? We're going to get into that palette. I'm going to, you know, I've already got the rest of my makeup done, but we're going to do an eye look with pastels with a Morphe palette. I've never had anything by Morphe before. This is literally the very first thing I've ever tried by Morphe. So um, I guess it'll be a bit of a review as well. Um, so, yes, that's. That is what we're going to be doing today. And I think that um, I have come up with a new setup um, with the camera and the tables and everything where I can do my makeup, still be able to see, and um, also allow you guys to see what I'm doing. So it's a win, win, win situation. I hope. We'll see. But that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, let me get that set up and I will be right back. Okay guys, we're back. Um, I've got my setup, I've got my mirror here. And if I'm looking into the mirror, you guys are still like, um, you know, able to watch me. And I think I have everything else that I need. I have brushes, I have the palette, I have some shape tape concealer because I'm gonna possibly try to do a cut crease um I, I'm not good at that I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that but the eye look that I want to do that I'm thinking that I want to create is gonna have a very light shade across the lid and I'm afraid that it won't show up unless I do a cut crease but um you know it it's fine. We're going to try. We're just going to jump into it and try. I've already got my hair pinned back. Um, oh, I want to show you guys the palette. I mean, I showed you the front, but let me show you the inside because it is so pretty. Oh, one thing I, I can already tell you um, in this review slash tryout that I don't like is they only have the shade names on the little piece of plastic. So it's like... If this, if you lose this, which who keeps this, you're not going to know the shade names. Like, why couldn't they just print them? Like, see, if it was printed just like that, it would be so much better. But anyway, here's the palette. It is um, a very pastel palette. There are some darker shades, you know, down here. But it's not... Um, it's it's more light colors and I like that that's what I'm going for I have a lot of palettes with darker deeper colors I kind of want to try um, some lighter colors so what I'm gonna start with is this blue right here let me find a poofy brush well that's about as poofy as we're gonna get and I'm just going to put that, like, right on the outer, like, 
Like, I don't want it to go too far down. Like, way high up. Oh, I should have tapped off the brush. Okay. Um, the pigmentation is not quite there, but it's okay. It's buildable, and that's all that matters for right now. And I'm just, just doing kind of like buffing this out all around the edge here. This is not a tutorial, by the way. Um, I don't want anybody to mistake it for a tutorial and think that I know what I'm doing because I don't. I'm literally just playing and um, talking to you guys at the same time. So, how's everybody doing? How are things going? Are you washing your hands? Tell me you're washing your hands. Um, I don't know about the touching the face thing. I saw this video, I think it was on Facebook, earlier today where this lady was um, obviously being sarcastic or, or humorous, but she took like one of those cones that you put around an animal whenever they have surgery so they don't lick their wounds or whatever, and she put it around her head like it was obviously a big one, and she put it around her head to keep her from touching her face, and I thought that was funny. All right, next I'm going to go into this purple right here. I would read you shade names, but I'm not even going to try. And I'm just going right in the crease with that purple. Actually, I'm going to, there's another, this brush is more like pointed. So I'm going to try that one. Just right in the crease. Yeah, I'm just explaining what I'm doing, but I'm not telling you guys to do it because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It may be the worst idea on the planet. We'll see. Basically, I'm trying to do a purple crease and then blend it out to the blue. And then on the lid, I want to do green and yellow. Yeah. I want to do like a pastel rainbow kind of thing. But I don't know how um, the green and yellow are going to show up, how well they're going to show up. Um, Unless there's like concealer or something underneath them. So we'll see. Uh, I feel like I need to go back in with the blue a little bit and kind of buff out the edges. Because I feel like we're losing the blue. And it really actually wasn't all there to begin with. Okay. Alright guys. Um, I do have this like kind of stiff brush here. That would be perfect for doing a cut crease. So I'm going to attempt it. Now... I don't know how other people do it. I have no idea. Um, but me, I'm just going to like lightly tap onto the concealer. And. Oh, oh I'm so nervous. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Why am I nervous? Oh. I know you're not supposed to pull your eyelid. Like, that's probably like beauty 101, right? Like, don't tug on your eyes. 
you'll get wrinkles. Well, guess what? I already have wrinkles. Okay, well, the concealer went down fine. Let's do the other side. So we've been cleaning today, not because of, you know, the coronavirus thing, but just because our, our house needed cleaning. And um, I don't know about you guys, like... I don't know how you feel about cleaning. It's not my favorite thing, obviously. I don't, well, I guess there are some people who it's their favorite thing. But for me, no, um, not my favorite thing, but it is super satisfying when you see the end result of all of your hard work. And you know, like, I did that. I cleaned out that fridge. Or we, you know, in my case, my husband was helping. Um, yeah, like we did that. We accomplished this together. Okay, that did not go as horribly as I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to get just concealer everywhere and just cause like a disaster. But I didn't. So, um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with, I guess this, let me swatch it. Oh, that's pretty. Um, but it literally disappears as soon as it hits the skin. Ooh, okay. It's very powdery too. Can you, can you even see that? And I went in how many times? Four to get that? Okay. All right. Don't complain. Don't complain. Just do it. Maybe it'll be fine. Anyway, I'm going to do the yellow on the like outside part and then like this um, kind of glittery teal right here on the inner part. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Obviously, I don't want to blend it too much because I don't want to blend it into the purple. I just want to kind of pack it where I want it to sit. Yeah. Um, it literally looks like there's smoke coming off my brush. Look at that. Can you guys see that? That's crazy. Okay. Um, I've never had eyeshadow that was that uh, powdery. This thing, um, I should go ahead and tell you, this palette was $25. And that wasn't on sale or anything. It was just regular $25. I did have an Ulta gift card that I used. So it wasn't as... Um, Like, I was going to say it wasn't as bad as... It's the same thing. Like, I guess. I use my gift card, but it's like... I could have used that on something else. So it is kind of like the same thing. It's just using my regular money. Um, ooh, I really like that shimmer. That green shimmer. Can you guys see that? That's so pretty. Ooh. Oh, man. I love that. Sorry, I just completely stopped talking because... Wow. Okay. I'm going back in with the yellow to try to build it up. I want it to be like a bright, bright yellow. Like, still pastel, but, you know, like... What do you think? I mean, it is pastel and it is kind of a rainbow. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. Um, 
I feel like some of the shadows are better than others here. Uh, anyway, this is, this is the look. So what I was saying was that this palette was $25. I used a gift card on it. Um, you get like 30 shades in here. So I thought, oh, that's well, well worth, um, $25. And I do see so many beautiful colors in here. <sighs> that yellow suck though. <sighs> but the green was gorgeous. Um, there's like this silvery glitter down here. That's so pretty. Um, we're going to swatch a few more just to see how they do. Um, right now I need to finish my eye look. So I'm going to do like my under eyes with um, this kind of orange color right here. And then maybe a little bit of the shimmer as well. Okay, it's super duper powdery. Just like, look at that. Can you see the kick up in the pan? And I'm just barely touching it. Look. Okay. Oh, well, we're just gonna, we're gonna do it anyway. I still can't see you guys, by the way. So if this whole setup here isn't working, I have no idea. Um, I'm just looking in the general direction of the camera when I talk to you, but I really can't see shit. Like I'm completely, uh, at a disadvantage here. Okay, I like this color. I don't like how much I've had to go back into the pan to get it. It makes me wonder if it would be better wet, like on a wet brush, but I'm, I don't have the uh, resources to do that or check that right now. I might do that in a little bit. Seriously, guys, it looks like smoke. I don't understand how the fall, how there's no fallout, but I don't see any fallout on my face at all. Which, considering how powdery. That's like a freaking miracle, man. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of this shimmer under my eyes. Just to brighten it up a little bit there. Oh, look, it did nothing. Okay. Okay, I see a little bit of fallout on the side of my nose right here. A little bit of yellow. Not on that side though. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and swatch a few more. We'll do some arm swatches. Cause this is, this is pretty much the eye look. This is what I've got. I look like a, I look like a clown. Let's be completely honest here. I look ridiculous. When I put on my glasses, do I look any better? No, no, I can just clearly see that I look ridiculous. Okay. Um, so let's swatch. I don't know. Let's look at, let's do this row right here. The second from the last row. Ooh, that gray's pretty. Okay. Um, Still powdery, still not impressed. Okay. Um, the shimmers seem to be doing much better. I'm, I'm down here now in the bottom. Um, 
they seem to be doing much better than the matte. So let's just look at the shimmers really quick. Oh yeah. Those are much better. Although that one didn't show up that right. And this, these two shades right here, this one and this one are supposed to be like duochrome. And they are, wow. They feel like cream. They feel like a cream product. They are so soft and so buttery. Why is... And then look, there they are. Can I rescue this with glitter? No. No, no. And then let's just dip into this silver glitter down here just to see. Just to see. It looks like that. And then across the back of the hand. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Um, I feel like it would go everywhere. All right. Well, I have to say... I'm glad I did this based off this particular trial. I will play with it some more, obviously. Um, but this, this certain eye look, um, I don't think I'm going to be running out to buy any more Morphe products. And I actually, I have a bag in Ulta right now, like on the app. And I had a Morphe, uh, artistry palette I think it was in there and hmm, gotta be rethinking that uh, yeah what do you guys think I mean obviously this um, color combination uh, it is not cute and um, a lot of what has happened here right here is um user error yeah that's a, that's mm. this is clearly my fault but um the shadows don't perform the way that i want them to really so uh yeah that's it that's all i got I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope that um, this finds you well. Hope everyone is safe and not sick, protecting yourself. Um, man, it's a crazy world out there, huh? Uh, okay, um, I will talk to you guys later and bye. Mm -hmm.